In December, the Lenovo team is currently working on a dead zone fix. We don't know if this will fully solve it. At the end of my full review, I gave content on how to do this. Here is a longer, more elaborate one for people who just want a shortcut to it and put a band-aid on the situation for right now until it's updated. I was looking on some ROG forums because they had similar issues in the beginning. I found someone's settings, gave it a test, it worked well. I would say it mostly fixes things about 80%. At least a lot of things are playable now as they weren't before. First step being a given, if you don't have Steam you need to download Steam and install it. Sign in or create a free account. Remember if you're signing in, you can use the Steam Guard from the app that will be significantly faster. Once inside Steam, by the way this is the big picture mode startup it will look slightly different from the get-go. You can go to library and choose a game and you're going to go to the controller settings on the right. Once inside here, you're going to edit the layout. Begin by looking on the left side and you'll see the tabs, select joysticks. Remember that you want to do things for the right side and the left side. Oftentimes people do the right because it's on top and forget to do the left. Click the settings, the gear icon, scroll down. Under dead zones, you'll see dead zone type. On the drop down menu, you are going to choose custom. Scroll down further, you will see show advanced dead zone options. Toggle this on and this is gonna provide extra settings. On the anti dead zone, go ahead and type in 7500. Then you're going to do anti dead zone buffer and type in 30. You can back out of this menu now and you can go ahead and repeat the same process for the left side. Once your settings are set, go ahead and back out. And if you would like, you can export the layout so you can save it for later. I recommend doing that. You'll basically open Steam each time, open the game through Steam, even if it has a different launcher, say Epic Games or something, and the Steam input overlay will work on that game. Just an example of the dead zones before and after, if you pay really close attention to the amount I have to go over before it catches, the difference is pretty significant. It has improved everything very much. It's not a permanent fix because there's there's still some sort of issue there. I, I think it's the acceleration curve of it, but it's so much better for now. And I'm very much looking forward to this update coming supposedly mid to late December. And hopefully that fixes things. If not, this is a nice fallback for now. That's it, temporary fix should work. Hope that helped you out. Subscribe for more and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.